Let's make this water ripple effect in Touch Designer right now. Okay, let's get started. First, let's press the tab key on the keyboard to open the op create dialog. And in the top category, just go ahead and click on the noise operator and drop noise somewhere in the Touch Designer project area. And now in the palette of Touch Designer, we're just going to make sure that image filters is selected. And then in the image filters category, we should see feedback edge. So just go ahead and drag and drop feedback edge into Touch Designer somewhere to the right of noise and connect noise to feedback edge, just like this. And now you should see something like this in the feedback edge operator. At this point, let's right click on the output of the feedback edge operator and now click on null and place null to the right of the feedback edge operator. And now let's move the null operator somewhere to the right to give us some space. Just a quick recap, we have noise, we have feedback edge and we have null. And now that we have the null operator in our touch designer project, let's go ahead and click on the display button in that null operator. And now we can see our Touch Designer project being displayed in the background of Touch Designer. Now we are going to add a new operator in between Feedback Edge and Null. So once again, from the palette of Touch Designer in the Image Filters category, we're going to drag and drop Solarize into Touch Designer. So just drag Solarize and drop it somewhere between Feedback Edge and Null. And now connect Feedback Edge to Solarize just like this, and then connect Solarize to Null, and you can steal the line that is connecting Feedback Edge to Null, just like this. Click on the output of Solarize, drag, and then when the line turns yellow, just like this, you can drop, and it steals the line away from Feedback Edge operator. So now you should simply have Feedback Edge connected to Solarize and Solarize connected to Null. And I'm just going to kind of readjust Solarize so that it's in line with these other operators, just like that. And the background of Touch Designer should look similar to what mine looks like right now. All right, so we just placed the Solarize operator. Now let's go back to the Feedback Edge operator. Click on that to select that. And then we want to look at the parameters for the Feedback Edge operator. In the parameters of the Feedback Edge operator, we're going to change the source gain to 0.01. .01. Now that we have changed the source gain, we're gonna change the feedback gain to roughly 1.13. So just click and drag the slider for the feedback gain, drag the slider of feedback gain until that reaches roughly 1.13. Now we're gonna click on the noise operator to change some of the parameters on the noise operator. In the parameters of the noise operator, we're going to change the period to about two. So now the period is at about two. We're gonna change the harmonics to roughly seven. We're gonna change the harmonic spread to about six. Let's change the harmonic gain to about 0 0.8. Let's change the exponent to about two. Let's change the amplitude to about 1.2. And we're gonna change the offset to about 0 0.15. Last but not least, let's turn off the monochrome switch. Just a quick review, your noise should look something like this. Your feedback edge should look something like this with the pink waves, basically. And then your solarize operator should look something like this. Now let's change some parameters in the solarize operator. So click on the solarize operator. First, let's change the light threshold to roughly 0.35. Let's change the light softness to about one. Let's change the dark threshold to about 0.9. And let's change the dark softness to about 0.56. And now your Solarize operator should be showing something like this. It should look kind of like some pink waves. At this point, we're going to go back to the palette of Touch Designer in the Image Filters category. And then we're going to drag and drop the Change to Color operator somewhere to the right of the Solarize operator. So just drag and drop Change to Color. Drop that to the right of Solarize. You want to connect Solarize to Change to Color, just like that. And then connect Change to Color to Null. 
So click on the output of change to color and then steal the connection of the line up here. And now your output should be green. And with the change to color operator selected, just change the parameter that says to color and change that to a light bluish color. Now your output should look kind of like a watery blue kind of color. And by the way, in the change to color operator, I just changed the saturation tolerance to something higher than what it is like 0.7. And it seems like that makes at least a small difference in the output. Now let's make the edges of the lines in our output a little bit stronger. And the way that we're gonna do that is add a new operator in between feedback edge and solarize. So right click on the line in between feedback edge and solarize, click insert operator, and now click on edge and drop edge in between feedback edge and solarize. With edge selected, just click on the comp over input toggle switch and then change the strength to about 10. And now you can see these thick black lines in the output of Touch Designer. At this point, let's just go ahead and change some parameters in a couple of our operators. First, let's go to the Feedback Edge operator. And for the edge color, just change that to about 0.5 for the first value, zero for the second value, and about 0.27 for the third value. Now let's go to our edge operator and let's just change the edge color from white to black. And I actually forgot to change something in the feedback edge operator. So click on that operator and in the dry wet mix for the feedback edge operator, just change that to one. Now let's change a couple of values in the change to color operator. In the from color parameter, let's change that to 0.5. So we have 0.5 in the first value, we have zero in the second value, and let's change the third value to 0.27. Now let's change the two color parameter. In the first box, I'm gonna put 0.5. In the second box, I'm going to enter 0.8. And in the third box, I'm going to enter 0.8 as well. And now your output should look pretty green, like a sea green color. So here's what your touch designer project should look like at this point. I'm gonna do a quick review of the operators, starting with the noise operator. First, we have the noise operator that is just generating some random noise for us. And then we have the feedback edge operator that is just taking the edges of our noise and making some feedback off of that noise. Then we have the regular edge operator that is just creating some more edges from our output. Next, we have Solarize, which is just changing the color scheme of our output. And then we have the Change to Color Operator that is just changing our output from pink to green, basically. And last but not least, we have the Null Operator that is acting as a placeholder, and that is allowing us to display the output in the background of Touch Designer, and we can export a movie file using this operator as well. So that's about it for this Touch Designer project, but I'm gonna show you a few more things at the end here, such as how to wrap this output around a sphere shape or put it on a grid shape. Let's go ahead and add a new operator by pressing tab on the keyboard. And in the Op Create dialog, just make sure you're in the SOP category and click on Sphere. Drop Sphere somewhere below your noise. Right click on the output of the sphere. Go to the Comp category, click on Geometry, place Geometry somewhere to the right of the sphere. Let's move that Geometry so it's somewhere below the Null operator. Now let's add a Fong in between the Null and the Geo. So press Tab on the keyboard to open the OP Create dialog. Go to the Materials category and click on Fong. Now just drop Fong somewhere in between Null and Geo. Now just drag Null and drop it onto Fong, and then select Color Map. Now your animation should be wrapped around the Fong material. Now we're gonna drag Fong and drop it onto Geo, and then just click on Material. Now in the Geo operator, you should see your animation wrapped around the sphere. At this point, we're just gonna add a camera, a light, and a render operator to make it so that this sphere shape can show up in the background of Touch Designer. 
Press tab on the keyboard to open the OP Create dialog and then go to the Comp category. Click on Camera, drop camera somewhere below the geo. Press tab again to open the Op Create dialog and this time click on Light. Drop light somewhere to the right of geo. Press tab on the keyboard one more time. This time go to the Top category and click on Render. Drop render somewhere below the light next to the camera. Now in the null operator, let's turn off the display button. And in the render operator that we just placed, turn on the display button in the render operator. Now in the background of Touch Designer, you should see the sphere shape with your water feedback output wrapped over it. At this point, you could add a black background to the output by clicking on the output of the render operator. Just right click on the output of render. In the top category, just click on transform, drop transform. In the parameters of transform, just change the fourth box of the background color parameter to one and turn on the switch that says comp over background color. Then simply turn off the display switch for render and turn on the display switch for transform. That's about it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, just ask in the comments below, or if you have any suggestions for the next tutorial that you would like to see. By the way, if you would like your touch designer output to look exactly like how I have it in this screen right here, I'm gonna show you every operator used in this tutorial and the parameters for every operator. Here are the parameters for the noise operator. Here are the parameters for the feedback edge operator. Here are the parameters for the edge operator, the parameters for the solarize operator, and finally the parameters for the change to color operator. Good luck and enjoy!